Around five years ago, I decided to learn how to code, and here's how I've progressed since then. At the beginning of 2019, I got my first laptop for school, which was a MacBook. The first two things I downloaded were Unity and Visual Studio, because I knew I wanted to learn game development. In hindsight, this was probably not a great idea, as C Sharp isn't a good first language to learn, but I learned it anyway. Throughout 2019, I made a bunch of small tech demo games, and sadly I don't have any of these anymore since the MacBook died a few years ago, but they were mostly just really simple games, like moving a cube around a maze. I did create this Baldi's Basics ripoff game around halfway through the year, but unfortunately there isn't any footage of this either. Throughout 2019, I also experimented with Blender a little because I wanted to be able to make 3D models for my games. By the end of 2019, I would picked up the basics of C Sharp, but I still needed to watch tutorials constantly to make anything. 2020 is when I started to learn how to properly code and not just copy and paste tutorials. At the start of the year, my father got me and my little brothers a gaming laptop, but I was the only one who actually used it, and as well as playing games on it of course, I used it to continue making games of Unity. I also continued to play around with Blender and made a few very basic animations just for fun. I usually just used Blender to make simple 3D models for my games, like weapons and characters, which were all very basic. Throughout the year, I made a few slightly more interesting prototype games, but right at the end of the year, I decided to start working on a big project. I called it Cavebound, and it was my first proper game project. The concept was the player would repair equipment in an old mine and try and keep it running while a giant worm attacks you. I think the concept was alright, but my programming skills at the time definitely weren't enough to make this the game that I imagined it to be. Also, I genuinely believed that this game was going to make me rich and famous, which sadly it didn't. After months of work, I finally published Cavebound on Steam to very little reception. I was a little disappointed, but I continued to work on smaller projects when I felt like it. Throughout 2021, I expanded my programming from game dev to web development as well. I created many small websites which me and my friends thought were pretty cool, such as some chat rooms that used PHP as the backend and a GTA radio station simulator. I really liked making chat rooms in PHP and I ended up making quite a few of these as well as some really primitive image boards. I also got better at using JavaScript and CSS and by the end of the year my websites went from looking like something that was made 25 years ago to somewhat decent albeit very simple looking websites. As well as this, I was still continuing to play around with Unity in the background. One game that I spent a while on was this really awful multiplayer shooter type of game which me and my friends had fun messing around with. I also made this game which was supposed to be some kind of build your own car type thing but I got stuck on the wheel physics. By the end of 2021 I've grown my knowledge of web development quite a lot as well as continuing to learn Unity. 2022 is where I started to really ramp things up. I started experimenting with Arduinos and I made many small projects including a very simple calculator using LED lights. One of the more questionable things I made was a really dodgy home security system with ESP32 cams, which was so bad that it caused the power in our house to go out due to my awful wiring. I also started learning Python in 2022 and I made a fair few projects with Python, such as a very primitive calculator, a Reddit video downloader, and a weather station archiver. I also started working on my second big game project in 2022, a simple combat game that I called Mini Arenas. This took around 4 months to complete, but the project really dragged on, and the game was around 70% complete by month 1. I did go overseas for a month, which ended up slowing down development a lot because when I got back I wasn't very motivated to keep working. Eventually I got around to finishing the game although it took me almost six months to complete it. On November the 25th 2022 I finally published Mini Arenas but this time around I was making it just for fun so it was available for free on Steam. At the beginning of 2023, I decided to start learning Roblox scripting because one of my friends convinced me to and it seemed like fun. I picked it up pretty quickly as Lua, Roblox's language, is very easy to learn and similar to Python. My first game was a potato farming tycoon, which I worked on for a few weeks, but sadly I never got around to finishing it. Then I decided to start this YouTube channel because if I'm making all these coding projects, I may as well upload them to YouTube. I started uploading to this channel every now and then, so pretty much everything I've done this year is available in my other videos. In April of 2022, I spent about a month working on this Roblox game and made a YouTube video about it which only got about 30 views after I uploaded it. This was disappointing but I kept on working on other projects and this channel. Halfway through the year I made a video recreating The Legend of Zelda in Unity which got a decent amount of attention and made me want to keep uploading. After a few more videos that did alright I finally uploaded a video that got over 200,000 views and now I am where I am now. This has been my programming journey for the last 5 years and I hope this video entertained or even inspired you. If you want to see more content like this then show your support by subscribing. Anyway until next time goodbye.